Hi guys, welcome back to the Small Loft Workshop. Last year I bought this Festool CT Mini for when I work outside the loft during hot summer days. And this vacuum has become my mainstay extraction for the small workshop. A few weeks ago I made this video which showed how I could suck out the dust from the disposable bag to maintain its life. For this I use my small Evolution cat-like <coughs> vacuum. During the research phase for that video, I found this cheap, zipped, reusable Festool bag on eBay. I immediately ordered one and said when I'd used it, I would come back to you and let you know my thoughts. I was intrigued with the pricing as it was a quarter of the price of the Festool bags Screwfix are selling. And half the price of a pack of five disposable ones. My initial thoughts were, it must be a cheap knockoff, but after comparing the original bag with this bag, it looks as though it's a kosher product. It's just an identical bag with a zip sewn in the base. The bag is cut out in a way that lets it locate in the location slot on the underside of the vacuum cleaner, which means that the top half easily slips into the hole in the middle of the bag. Although it's really nice to work inside the workshop, at this time of year, being in the roof space of a house, it is just far too hot to be up there. Last summer, I streamlined my processes to allow me to easily work outside. First of all, I made my outdoor workbench, and secondly, I invested in a few tools that made moving between the loft workshop and outside relatively easily. And I like working in this little nook in the garden. First of all, it's a nice little six foot by six foot area. And secondly, I think the photography looks nice with the summer garden behind it. But I can't take credit for that. That is all my wife's work. Okay, so let's make some dust. Some of these snippets of cutting are from a forthcoming video that will be coming your way soon. Briefly, I'm cross cutting some OSB with my Festool track saw and my bench dog square. Cross cutting some inch and a half by four on my Evolution mitre saw with the Festool saw set to manual mode. Finding some extra dust by cleaning my workstation. And I'm ripping the inch and a half stock down using the Festool track saw. So let's have a look at what dust these cuttings have harvested. The vacuum's cabinet wasn't full of dust, so it's done a good job in filtering out through the bag the small particles. I did receive a comment from the dust extraction video to say that this bag zip can clog up with dirt. So here I'm rubbing as much dirt into the zip as I can and it still works after that. So, so far that's not an issue. All in all, for less than 16 quid, I'm happy. If I have any more thoughts, I'll let you know later. You all soon and enjoy the sunshine.